This is the Anarchist World Journal entry number 25, and I'm going to be introducing to you Mr. Gary Johnson, the slave master runner-up from the Libertarian Gang Party, who's also trying to compete in the Game of Thrones freak show that is the presidential race. And of course, I have problems with anyone who can who's trying to go out there and claim to be your master, trying to get you to bend the knee, as it were. And But the Libertarian Party particularly, they have this misconception that I kind of put out there that they're they're for the free market, that they advocate for property rights, that they uphold the non-aggression principle, that they're for capitalism and they're champions of liberty. And of course, that's never, ever been the case. And of course, the best way to find out is here from the horse's mouth to see where they contradict and lie about these particular claims. So here's the interview that I managed to get a couple of days ago when he was here in town and see for yourself. How would he define a free market? Well, de devoid of government interference, devoid of government picking winners and losers, uh, crony capitalism, opposite of crony capitalism. Right, and then of respect for property rights, right? Uh, Non-aggression principle? Yeah, respect for property rights, believing that it's a cornerstone of what we are as a country. In my eight years as governor of New Mexico, not once did I uh, uh, implement uh, eminent domain. He's done good so far right now. Great responses to the questions, respecting property rights, kind of avoiding the non-aggression principle because maybe a couple months ago he did not even know what that entailed, even though that's part of the statement of principles to be a member of that political party gang. So I can let go of that part. But yeah, really good response to the free market question. Really good response and say that he does respect property rights and that not, it does not advocate for eminent domain, which is government stealing the land from other people. And in terms of then, would you consider then taxation to be theft? Well, yes, it really is. It really is. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so that, that's, that's what we get then. Those are my two main questions that I had time for. I only had time for one question, but the other one, of course, I have to ask is taxation theft? And he admitted that it's theft. Uh, and that is where this conversation should end. And that is a place where you can see that he is a good person in terms of championing liberties, championing property rights, championing for the free markets. Everything so far has been aligned and consistent. I can't imagine anywhere else where you can screw up after that. Uh, ideally, I, I always point out, I think the ideal libertarian tax is the gas tax. Right. You know, you, you buy gas, you pay a tax at the pump, and supposedly, doesn't happen anymore, but supposedly the money did then all go to roads. Right. Which, so user, user fees are really the ideal libertarian tax. But I get the end goal will be for all these services though to be provided in the market and the private sector, including railways, including well, you, security you, you, and, and everything. Yeah, and, and I, I'm, I, I like to think I'm falling out on the pragmatic side of all this. All of that possible, but that would require legislation and uh, I don't see Congress spitting out a lot of that legislation. Of but, course, yeah. but improvements in those areas, I think that that's very possible. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah, for coming visiting. Thank, thank you. Okay. So that was that. That was my time. My time was up. I think that was his uh, campaign manager trying to whisk me away because there's a lot of people trying to run up in there and trying to ask him questions. And I was only allowed to ask one. And so not a great moment there for me to kind of trip him up as much as I wanted him to. But it was enough revealing for him to, to see how he misleads people and lies to people saying that the free market has something to do with the consumption tax. <laughs> that respecting property is also the same thing as disrespecting property. That capitalism is also the same thing as socialism. And that's what you will find with the Libertarian Party. That the Libertarian Party gang is nothing but another socialist-like organization. Uh, no different than any other. And that they will still advocate for violating consent. They will still advocate for theft. Um, but that's Gary Johnson. He's a goofball. He's a weird kind of a person who tries really hard to be people. And that's so much like he was advocating not that long ago. This would have been one of the questions I would ask him. What kind of a, what's your favorite kind of cake? And in terms of that, how would you reconcile your advocation for the free market and respect for property rights and self-ownership and that you would have government force people, bakers, to bake cakes for, for customers, for people out there? So the Jewish baker the should right? have to bake the cake for the Nazi wedding? That's, uh, that would be my contention, yes. Uh, which was one of his views that he holds. So aside from the Aleppo incident, I didn't know where that is located or much about it as well. You can let that one go, but you can't let it go when he actually indicates that Hillary Clinton is, uh, what do you say, an old friend of his, that she is a wonderful public servant. Um, a, a wonderful public servant, I guess I would say that. You can't uh, let go of the... Uh, Gaffey did a couple months ago, but he couldn't even understand what the non-aggression principle is. But this is one of those questions where uh, America, or me anyway, it just goes over my head, and, and I'm sorry.
which is, of course, one of the statement of principles for you to be, become a member of the political party gang of the Libertarian Party. And he, he, he didn't know much about it. He couldn't fathom uh, how to define it or uh, look much into it, of course. Which is why you can see him kind of curtailing going to somewhere else when I kind of bring that up. Uh, another thing, of course, uh, when they, he was asked the question, can you, can you name a world leader that inspired you? Not that, of course, he did great and not be able to come up with one, but at least he sort of responded in a more funny tort in saying that. Maybe Tyrion. I drink and I know things. <laughs> you can say, All right? Go off the Game of Thrones area. Uh, don't just sit there like an idiot, uh, you know, with a brain spasm going on, and you'll, you'll find a lot of that with him. I think he just had one just last night with a CNN reporter talking about what is something about yourself that you can share about with, with, the, with the voters out there, with people out there, um, that they don't know much about you. They don't know that stuff about you. Do they? Give, give us something we don't know. Give us something that we don't know. Um, not having a moment here by any means. He really couldn't figure something out. It took him a while. So you'll find a lot of gaps. You'll find a lot of weird things in which it's hard for him sometimes to be people. Uh, of course, I think the funniest thing he ever had, had he's done <laughs> was through uh, Austin Peters, yeah, the deuce bag. Uh, his, his gun, he gave him a, a gift when he uh, bowed out and lost him. He threw that shit in the trash. That was funny. That was very thug and gangster. But other than that, that's all they have to offer. Um, it's a circus show. It's a, it's a sad, sad circus show. There's no other organization out there that will champion capitalism uncompromisingly than free market anarchists. And here in Richmond with Liberate RBA, there is no other group of people that will go out there principally wise, that will not compromise it for politics than free market anarchists. Libertarianism, the Libertarian Party, all these sort of things, of course, is a, is a great big joke. It's um, misleading, it's shameful, and it hurts a lot of people in terms of, again, trying to confuse them and trying to understand what is the free market. Remember, the free market has nothing to do with taxes, it has nothing to do with consumption tax, it has nothing to do with, well, without, uh, the, without stealing people's money, we'll have no roads, right? That's why you would do it in the first place. You can't fathom how the market will provide them otherwise. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay liberated, and I'll see you at the Victory Party. Well, um... I think he he did a great job of dodging, and he 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 knows his politics. He knows them very well. And as fond as I am of of Gary Johnson, as sort of what he is, I do still disagree with his methods. And and as I've said multiple times to my, multiple people, Gary Johnson is a smart guy. He's a very intelligent guy. He looks like, I think anybody that comes off onto, that seeks the ring of power, that believes that they can control the lives as multiple people, they're going to sound like an idiot. Because nobody can control the lives of, multiple, of, of the entire United States. So if you seek that ring of power, you're going to come like a dumbass, no matter what. And... Today, he actually played it very well. For the most part, I have seen him just babble and make a fool out of himself. Like the other three. Left behind, the dollar signs rule. But what about the fool who falls victim to the material world?